Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, little bit? How are you? You doing good? You chilling? Chilling like a villain, top villain. Always, uh, never illin'. Always chilling. I don't know. I, I messed that up. I have a way of saying that. What's going on? Delta Tango Mike here with Daniela Rain. Dot Daniela. Find her on Instagram. Check out her cute pictures. In any case, uh, today is uh, we're doing the Level Up Your Art Biz. Today is another Thriving Artist Art Life Short of starting out 2020. And we're going to talk about leveling up your art biz with the Creative Suite or the Creative Cloud. Sorry. I mean, uh, creative Suite is part of the discussion. But in any case, the Creative Cloud. And so, as you know, Creative Cloud is uh, software that professionals use and uh, conducting in uh, the process of their artwork right part of the workflow in creating your finished artwork is uh, using the tools of the creative cloud and that means photoshop illustrator along with a ton of other uh, apps like uh, indesign premiere i've used a lot of premiere indesign for magazine layouts books and then uh dreamweaver a long time ago uh we were using fireworks those of you who remember those days and um, and then Adobe bought, bought out Micromedia and brought in brought Fireworks into the Adobe uh, Creative Suite. In any case, we that's some of the tools that we use as professional artists. One thing that I've always paid attention to coming up uh, in, in the art with my art career, following my path, was how what is it that other artists are doing? What are they using? What is their process so I can get the same? Tell me. <laughs> and so um, I noticed that um, uh, comic book artists use blue pencils so I started buying blue pencils and using blue pencils I noticed that a friend of mine he draws with color pencils in his sketchbooks so that uh, that opened my eyes and my mind saying well I don't always have to use just a number two pencil or a regular pencil I can use any other type of pencils and which led me to explore other pencils um, when that same artist I went into his uh, studio one day and I noticed how he had his studio set up and I was like wait a minute you know I've always saw studios on TV artist studios and magazines and they had these beautiful um, uh, draft draft tables and amazing tools and so on and I always felt like you know the uh, an artist studio is like this big beautiful amazing uh, wonder place but when I walked through his studio it's like wait a minute this is a table some stuff some shelves I can do that I've always paid attention to how other artists work other artists tools so that I can also have the same tools so that I can feel like yes I am a professional myself even though it's not the tools that make the artist but it's part of our mentality right and so uh, including the Cintiq I have a Cintiq over here I got computers over there so okay artists use this kind of stuff artists use that kind of stuff I want it well, one thing that has um, that it remains true is that there are industry standards, and when this industry standards established, it was a long time ago as the world moved from traditional to digital media, and as it moved into digital media, there was big battles being fought, kind of like the beta versus VHS, a long time ago, and so there was a uh, Corel versus Adobe versus Macromedia, versus uh, Quark Express, versus a whole bunch of st software that was out there in the beginning. And Adobe um, took over, bought out people, and pushed people out the way, bought out the companies, and, ba and, and at the end of the day, we have a whole lot of, hey, <laughs> a whole lot of uh, Adobe Creative Cloud stuff. And then it turned into Creative Cloud. And so that is what the industry has established that uh, is the standard. So when I work with different clients and uh, in companies, they expect you to use Photoshop or Illustrator. They expect to get a Photoshop file, an APS file, an Illustrator file, and uh, and so, so when you look at yourself and your in the business that you conduct, it's okay to try out any other tool that's out there. Uh, and I'm talking about apps that run an iPad, apps that are free, and so on. But at the end of the day, when you want to work in a professional environment, and and uh, and differentiate yourself between other artists you're gonna have to have these professional tools so um, and that also means you have to be up to date on the creative cloud I'm not here to sell you the creative cloud I don't make any money off of it but for when I see people asking about creative suite uh, CS2 CS3 
or earlier versions of Photoshop, you're missing out on a lot of tools that are included in that software. And so I have an example that I want to share. Uh, is it your turn to talk or my turn to talk? Okay. Where? Right, okay, now it's my turn. So here's an example, right? Uh, a car that you bought in 2002 is uh, 18 years old and it's still on the road, but it's not an up-to-date car um, that is that was bought even five years ago. You know, I've owned cars that are super old, and so no matter even if they are uh, uh, street legal and road road worthy there's a lot of things that doesn't have compared to today's cars and so driving for lyft and uh what's the other one uber there were there are some uh rules and um that you have to follow in order to be able to drive for them I'm not saying that that's a good thing or anything i'm just making an example and so when you want to drive for lyft or uber your car has to be of a certain age because beyond that it doesn't have certain comforts and that's how the industry, when it comes to design and illustration works, is that it's not that they, they don't want you to use a computer that is uh, 20 years old running Windows XP or uh, Mac OS, uh, what, which one, Leopard or Lion. Uh, I have old computers like that, but I, and I can use them all I want and nobody minds you using them. It's when you step into the professional arena and you tell a client, yes, I can produce something for you. Yes, I can edit that video. Yes, I can edit those files. Yes, I can create your illustrations up to today's standards that you then to start to fall short. $50 a month or $56 a month for the Creative Cloud is nothing to sneeze at. But neither is a lot of things that we spend money on. And a lot of subscription programs out there that we, we drop money onto for entertainment that could be used for um, your business. And I have another whole discussion about your passion that's gonna that I'm gonna record and, and share with you, and uh, and and yeah, and and with that discussion is you gotta look around to what the stuff that you have, and and notice that the things you have more of that's where your passion lies. So you say when we say that we want something in life and something to happen for us, you have to see whether your the way you live your life and the things you have contradicts that what you say your passion is, and so you your passion. And the things that you do have to line up and that may mean investing in the creative cloud uh, like I said I don't make any money off of it I'm not here to try to sell you on it however if you have a creative cloud account and you try to cancel it I know that creative cloud right now is giving out two months free not only that if you follow the creative cloud on Instagram uh, or Twitter really Twitter you can win a one-year membership they give them out all the time there's all kinds of offers happening all the time I haven't paid for one in a few years, by maybe five years I paid, last five years I paid for the Creative Cloud uh, for one year, I think. And uh, because there's always some kind of way to find the software that you need that's up to date to do the work that you need to do. And that's what today's uh, point is about, is uh, if you want to um, work in the industry and, f and find yourself and find and have the industry value your work you're gonna have to be up to date and you have to figure out ways to get that happening for you if you have a um, college uh, email account a .edu account the creative cloud is twenty dollars a month if you have a nonprofit your creative cloud is twenty dollars a month if you know any nonprofits the creative you can they can help you get the creative cloud for twenty dollars a month twenty dollars a month is nothing fifty dollars a month a month is nothing when you can turn around and create artwork designs and get paid hundreds of dollars right now my focus and my goal is thousands of dollars not hundreds not tens but thousands so then you look at it as a an expense that's part of your business i am delta tango mike and this is <laughs> rain that daniela doing the most is tell him say what's up <laughs> okay all right cool Find me, Delta Tango Mike, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, The Creative Genius on LinkedIn and Behance. Check out my demos and tutorials. Say hello to rain.daniela on Instagram, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace out. <laughs> Let me turn off the cinematic a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. The beard doesn't come off. You can try. Who was that?